Hey guys, what's up? This is Emmy and Basis. The next thing I'm wanting to do, I'm done with Boomerang for right now because I've done all the shows that I know personally. So I'm going to, during the summer, going to watch a bunch of the smaller shows and do them a lot later on. So pretty much <clears throat> I'm going to be doing Adult Swim shows, because I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So I'm going to enjoy this. So, <clears throat> excuse me, having a little uh, sinus issues. The first show I want to talk about, of course, Metalocalypse. <laughs> Metalocalypse. <clears throat> the series has ended, but... The creator actually um, has a has a media campaign going on called Metalocalypse Now, so that they can actually have a final season of Metalocalypse to be done. So this is actually pretty funny. Metalocalypse is the show. The Death Clock is the fictional band, but. Death Clock is an actual band in real life. I have not seen them. They were actually here in, Nash in Nashville uh, about 20 minutes from where I live. So, it's pretty. it was pretty cool because I saw a bunch of the live videos. But it's pretty cool to see um, the guy who actually does a lot of the voices of Nathan, Swissgar, and Pickles. It's actually pretty cool. So, <laughs> anywho, <clears throat> this was actually a pretty amazing show. I loved it. Oh, and I forgot to mention the story revolves around <laughs> some of the five craziest people I've ever seen in a metal band. You've got Nathan Explosion, <laughs> Swiss Guard, uh, Squig Elf. I don't know if I got that right. Pickles. Why pickles? William Murderface and Toki Wartu. That's right, Toki Wartu. I love William Murderface. He is hilarious. Um, Pickles' brother is freaking hilarious. He's a douchebag con artist. But <laughs> Anyways, um... <clears throat> <clears throat> so they are one of the seventh largest um, bands on earth and they are pretty much like killing everybody at their shows and they're causing doom and construction and I mean not construction sorry um, a lot of um, doom and deconstruction and all this fun stuff <laughs> And it's crazy because the army, pope, whoever organization is trying to stop them because they're killing so many people. And a lot, and they've made a lot of heavy metal references like Roxo the Clown. Honestly, I don't know who Roxo the Clown is supposed to be. I always thought it was um, um, David Lee Roth, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> I mean, this was a funny show. I loved it. It was hilarious. It got a little weird around season three and four when they started showing more nudity and stuff. It was like, uh, got a little weird. But the show is amazing. It's still left on a cliffhanger. It's still a great show. So. In my honest opinion, I would love to see the show have a final season because, to be honest, this this is an amazing show. The band's still touring, still great music. Um, if you've never heard of Bat Metal, definitely check them out. They just done some uh, Death Claw music, uh, two of them, like Mermaider and oh, I forgot I forgot the other one. Um, 
But I mean, yeah, it's amazing. So, definitely would love to see this. So, oh, and I forgot to mention one more thing: the live band actually has drummer Gene Ho Hoagland. Hoagland. It's amazing, and bassist Brian Beller and guitarist Mike Kennelly. And the vocalist and guitarist is Brendan Small. So, fucking amazing. So, anyways, alright guys, this is Emmy and Basis. I talked to Indoor Rancid about Metalocalypse, and I hope you all have a good night when you watch this. Thanks for watching.